The time has come, everyone. Halloween Horror Nights merchandise has made its way to Universal Studios Hollywood. Let's go. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here covering the brand new merchandise that has come to Universal Studios Hollywood. Now, I've been told that not all of the merchandise has arrived just yet, but that the merchandise should arrive by opening day. And some, if not a lot of this merchandise is also similar to the one that will be sold at Universal Studios Orlando for their HHN as well. But nonetheless, let's take a quick tour around the merchandise that has arrived. Today's the first day that it came out and see what we can find. Up first is the HHN 2019 shot glass, priced at $10, followed by the event logo zip up sweater, which is pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad that it is zip up. Uh, I prefer zip up over just a pullover hoodie. And for 50 bucks, that's not a bad price. Next up is one of my faves of the collection are these glass cups with different designs from different houses that are in HHN this year. A lot of people say they look like souvenirs given out at like a Burger King in the 80s. I wasn't alive during that time, but if I was, I definitely would be checking these out. Per request, the wife is going to be purchasing the Ghostbusters cup and I'm not mad at it. It's pretty cool. The Stranger Things merchandise this year is pretty cool, really eclectic, lots of new different types of pieces this year compared to last year's merchandise. And I have it on good authority that these Ahoy hats are pretty much first come first serve. There's not a ton of units. So if you're really into these, um, you're gonna have to pick these up ASAP. Now I really do like the logo for this year. I think they did a really good job designing it. But even cooler than that are the socks for the event that come cased inside of what looks like a VHS tape. I think it's a fantastic piece of merchandise and such a great way to display them. I just don't know if I can talk myself into paying $24 for a pair of socks. Now a lot of the t-shirts are pretty cool this year, but the only one that I'm actually considering purchasing is the House of a Thousand Corpses. It's one of my personal favorite horror movies. And I love that it says Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights at the bottom. I'm super excited for that maze, even though they've done it before. Um, it's still exciting that they brought it back and I just can't wait to check it out. For those Killer Clown fans, um, I do think they did a good job of getting an assortment, a really good assortment of merchandise. The collection isn't huge, but what they did bring together, I think will definitely satisfy that fan base. The t-shirt's pretty cool, and some of the little figurines are really sweet. Uh, the masks, for sure, are probably some of the best I've seen in years. Can we talk about how legitness that Dr. Satan one is? This year I feel like they have a lot of different pin options. Um, they have the event pin, which is pretty cool. It's like an arcade game. And the event T is going to be the exact same. They just didn't have the event T yet, but that should be here by opening day. But the pin selection I thought was really cool between the Killer Clowns, this one, Ghostbusters, Universal Monsters. They had a good setup. 
Speaking of Ghostbusters, the plush has to be some of the cutest I've ever seen. And from talking to some of the team members, they are expecting to get a lot more Ghostbusters merchandise. It just hasn't arrived yet. Like I said, this is the first day that they were able to put anything out. And to add on to the nostalgia of the 80s, they've also included a lot of merchandise that just is kind of centered around the 80s, like these video games that you can purchase, a bunch of different types, as well as like Atari merchandise, and a couple other things that just have to do with the 80s, but maybe aren't directly tied to a Halloween Horror Nights house, which I think is pretty cool, just to give people options. A lot of the Universal Monsters merchandise was things that they already carried inside of like Production Central and USS Park. So I didn't really film too much of it. Uh, I did film some of the things that I thought looked cool and looked new, um, but I didn't film a whole bunch. Same thing with the Walking Dead merchandise. It all looked like things that were already in the park previously. So I didn't really film much of that either. Nonetheless, the Universal Monster merchandise is pretty cool. I'm definitely interested in some of the pins and the beanie and hat were really cool as well. And last but not least, Hello Kitty got her own merchandise this year, uh, Dracula themed, which I guess is going to be her costume. It's not exactly HHN merchandise, but it is Halloween themed and it's pretty cool. This one was located in the animation studio store. So go and check that out. All right, and that's it. That's our quick tour of the new merchandise that came in today, which for you guys was yesterday. Um, the merchandise looks great. Really excited for this year's event. I think the merchandise is a great representation of what's to come, hopefully what's to come. And so when the new merch does arrive or the merch that they're missing, I'll be sure to get some video for you guys of that. But in the meantime, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Check out our other HHN video and stay tuned because we will be going to employee preview night and we'll get that video up to you guys as soon as the event is over. Um, thanks again for watching. Catch you in the next one.